The Story of Carlos, Chapter 2 Carlos lay on his bed, thinking, little realising that everything was about to change. Carlos often thought about where he had come from. The monks had told him of how they had found him on the steps outside the home, wrapped in a blue woollen blanket with the word Carlos embroidered on it, and clutching his stuffed rabbit. He was about 18 months old. Carlos celebrated his birthday on January the 1st, but he wasn't quite sure how the monks knew when his birthday was. Whenever he had asked them, he was told that they had guessed, but Carlos felt that they were hiding something. Carlos had always felt that they were hiding something. Carlos thought about his parents often. He asked himself again and again why they would leave him on the steps of the monastery. He remembered when he was little how he had thought that it must have been his fault. Maybe it was because they thought he was ugly. Maybe he had done something to upset them. Maybe they had never really wanted him. He remembered the agonising times when his mind was full of the question, why? He had spent many tearful nights and still more tearful days trying to work it out. But he had discovered something. When he explained how he felt to God in prayer, as the monks had taught him to do, he did feel better. And slowly but surely he had begun to realise that it couldn't possibly have been his fault. After all, he was so young. And another thing. Every time he remembered his times with his parents, he could only remember happy times. He was sure his mother and father loved him dearly. Eventually, Carlos let all the bad feelings he had fade away. He asked God to help him, and he tried to remember the happy times. So now, when Carlos lay thinking about those times, he only he felt happy feelings. And, of course, curiosity too. He wondered who he really was and where he had really come from. He couldn't help thinking that maybe he was a bit special. His eyes became heavy and eventually he dropped off to sleep. It was New Year's Eve and the day before Carlos's birthday. Birthdays weren't a big thing at the orphanage. Too many of the boys there had no idea when they were born. So the whole thing was played down. Nobody seemed particularly excited by the fact that they were entering a new year either. Everyone slept. The orphanage was peaceful. Until...